Hey guys, Liza Hudson from Conversion Wise here and welcome to another free landing page audit session. So as always, before I jump into your awesome pages today, I have a few announcements. If you're currently watching this in YouTube and you're new here, firstly, welcome to our channel. Um, and if you are not a member of our Facebook group, then underneath this video, you will find a link. You can just click on there and ask to join. It's a completely free group. Um, in here, you'll find all kinds of tips and tricks on CRO. Plus, it's a really great community with over 5,000 members. So everyone kind of chips in and helps. So really, really nice community. And as I mentioned, it's free. And of course, in here, we also make announcements relating to our service. And one of those which we're super excited about is our own CRO course. Now, um, I actually have a sneaky little discount code for you. So if you want $500 off of that, then you can use the code Liza VIP. So that's L-I-Z-A VIP. Anyway, guys, if you're currently watching us from the uh, community and you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button. We still put out fresh content here every single week. Um, in here, you'll find so much helpful stuff. And of course, don't forget to click the notification bell as well. Now, for those of you that haven't seen one of these sessions before, basically what's happened is I have chosen four pages from links that people have dropped into our community over the last week or so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through these pages and give what can seem some quite brutal feedback sometimes, but what we're trying to do is uh, give you some hints and tips that if you go away and use today on your pages, you will see an uplift in your conversion rate. I always get mega excited on these sessions because we get insane results um, and people always post them in the community. So it's, it's really, really great to see. Now, again, for those of you that haven't been here before with me, I have my two trusty tools. The first one is builtwith.com. This is going to just show me what you guys are using to actually create your pages. So whether you've got a custom setup, whether it's Shopify, Connective, WordPress, you name it, it's going to tell me what you're using. And of course, I have with me tools.pingdom.com. So this is the free version, um, which you can use as well. And it's just going to give me a, an overview of your site speed because, you know, the way that your page loads is such a crucial uh, conversion factor. So that's something else that we'll have a look at. Now, again, for those of you that haven't been here before, we work to lots of different conversion principles. What I'm going to do is just drop this into my my tools whilst I talk to you. So we worked on lots of conversion principles and one of those is the ADA principle. Now we know that this works across every single page. So for those of you that don't know what that means is essentially above the fold. So the point where you don't need to scroll any further, which is this section here, you are going to capture your consumer's attention. As we go through your page, you should be piquing their interest with your content, all that good stuff. Then we've got the desire section, which is the D, so that's all your social proof, case studies, before, afters, whatever it might be. And then the last A stands for action because we always want to end on an action. So let's go into the pages that's themselves. The first one we have here is Shopify. Absolutely love Shopify. It's so super user friendly. And in terms of load speed, actually, that's really quite good for a Shopify store. So typically they can be a little bit slow to load, but you've actually done a really good job here. So let's see what the page is first and foremost. Um, this is some sort of, um, uh, beauty products. So just so you know, guys, I don't look at these properly until the day. So if I'm uh, sort of slow on bits, it's just because I'm looking at this properly for the first time today. So off the get go, first thing I would say, is um, looking at this, you know, got some pretty imagery here, we've got a headline, but there are some things that you guys could do to optimize this page and increase your conversion rate. So the first thing is this banner is way too big. It's taking up, you know, nearly a third of this uh, kind of hero section. So there's literally just no reason for this to be this big. Um, I would also make this a slightly different color so that it stands out from the crowd so you can get your messaging up here across. And something like, you know, um, free delivery is something that people really do want to see. So I would probably make this a darker color, make this writing stand right out. And like I said, decrease the size of your uh, banner here. Your product imagery, what type of page is this? Okay, so we've got a, a scrolling image and all the content on the right, which is fairly typical. We do see this quite a lot. So what I like here is that you have given us some content and here you're giving us the benefits, which is really, really nice to see. Um, I would switch this around. So you have your headline, 
then pull your call to actions down. Then what you want to do is bullet point out just those benefits, you know, so it's benefits that sell your products. So if you can get those up here, that'd be absolutely awesome. The other thing we would recommend is that you have some form of um, sort of in stock button or, you know, however many people view in this product. It basically instills a little bit of scarcity and it's going to uh, just push people a little bit more into uh, selecting this particular product. Um, your add to cart, buy it now. I like the fact that you've got a buy it now button. I always think that's really cool because you're skipping in the checkout process but again in terms of the color of the call to action we get it people want this kind of branded look um but we do know that having a brighter call to action so something like the amazon gold or the greens they convert very well um it, it stands out more from the crowd also get yourself an emoji on here because it will increase your click through rate and if you don't believe it then guys go away and test it because that's what we always recommend the other thing you're lacking here is any form of social proof so we don't have any sort of star rating super crucial that you have this on your pages regardless of what the page is social proof is absolutely key so some form of star rating um, and ideally, we would have some trust icons here. So have you got any payment icons? Yeah, so these payment icons here, you want to have literally displayed right below your calls to action, just because it instantly instills that trust. So basically, when I land on your hero section, what I should know is what the product is, how it's going to benefit me, can I trust you and are other people using you? And those are like the, the, the sort of four main things that you need to think about incorporating into your hero sections. But in terms of some of the content here, I think this is actually really nice. I'm not a fan of these scrollers, uh, but that's a personal thing. And what else have you got here? Okay, so here you've got um, essentially a process step we are big fans of process steps so what we'd actually recommend is that you incorporate some form of design into this so preferably we would say go left to right because this is quite texty um and what you'd want to do is it's you know it's as easy as this or some sort of headline and then give us some sort of icons it's like step one do this step two do that step three do that it's just very engaging it shows people how simple your product is or if it's a service you know it can be your your process but they are super cool for conversion. So adding in process steps are absolutely great. Um, in terms of the amount of text, if you're sticking with what you have, I would uh, bold out some of the key terms so that if people can scan read, they'll, I will be drawn to those particular bits, save them having to read absolutely everything if they don't want to. So we want to make it super, super simple. Um, as we go down, typically, obviously, we've just kind of done your interest section. You now go into related products, which you'd expect to see on a uh, product page. Again, if you're going to have these, you need to have your star ratings with them, you know, give people the uh, the social proof. Then what we would like to see would be a repeat call to action to purchase your product. Um, it's so very typical on product pages that you see the call to action just on the hero section. Um, but what you want to do is make sure that you have one towards the end and if possible in the middle as well, depending on the limitations of your builder, obviously. Um, but wherever possible, you do want a repeat call to action and back up your call to action with these nice little payment seals and all the stars. Um, one other thing I would suggest is that you get your FAQ section out onto this page. Um, so think of the top five questions. Typically for e-commerce, it's things like, you know, refund policy, how quick is it going to get to me? If you want to go down into your product sort of individual qualities, absolutely. But think about your top five questions and get those nice and proud on the page itself and then you want to follow that with a last repeat call to action so there's quite a few tweaks you could make to this page to uh, keep pushing the needle as it were but i think your imagery is really nice you've got some great content there um, but like i say just a couple of little bits that you guys could do and do let me know how you get on so let's go on to the next one data lies and uh, doing this the slow way today. What have we got here? In fact, the very slow way. So if your pages aren't featured here today, then don't don't worry. Um, we will be releasing more of these videos. And if you want to see yours on one of these videos, then all you'll need to do is be a member of our group. Um, and then every few weeks, I'll drop a post and you can drop your links. Uh, so what have we got here? We have what 
looks like a custom setup. So I'm hoping that we got some good things on speed. Ooh, okay, so 7.3 is, is a real issue. I'm gonna run it again because every now and then, you know, it just throws up a result. No, okay. So if this is 7.3, this will be harming your conversion rate. Now I'm quite surprised given your setup that it's it's this heavy. So um, I think what you need to do is talk to your developer or whoever's doing this and have a little look at why that is loading so slowly because literally for every one second you decrease your load speed, you can increase your conversion rate by between, I know it's a big number, but between three and 10%. So literally just by optimizing for speed, we make serious quick wins on the conversion factor. So it's really good in a way because you know you've got something that you can do. Let's have a look, what is it saying? Okay. Yeah, so there's some server side stuff that you can do there. Again, like I say, drop it into this tool, send it to your developer and get them to have a little look if you have a developer that is. But let's look at the page itself first of all. So uh, what have we got? Integrated CRM, voice, email, WhatsApp, SMS, Datalyze isn't a sales system, it's an engagement platform. Okay, cool. So the first thing is visually, um, you know, the blue is really nice, um, you know, the sort of animation, is good. Um, but what I would say is that your headline is very, very uh, features driven almost. So what we want to see is what's the benefit of me having this CRM or signing up for the CRM. So you started to hint on it here. Um, so it's like managing the uh, sales effortlessly will make you sell more. So it's going to make you more money. Um, so I would consider switching your headline around making this more emotive and telling your consumer what the benefit is to them first before you list out. You could use this as a subheadline, but give us a nice emotive headline because like we said, everyone wants to know what's in it for them. Um, the little video would be fine. Call to action, absolutely recommend that you uh, switch that up for something a little bit stronger, just because it's not really standing out. But I like the fact that you've got to get started now. That's fantastic. Really nice to see you're using some trust here. Um, I mean, I would consider having them in the colors just because it stands out really nicely and you're not necessarily gonna hover over these, um, but super cool to see that you've got some trust. I really like that. Call to action just needs sharpening up. And again, why not get an emoji on there? Test it, you know, serious subjects still do really well with these things. So then we would be going down as we discussed into piquing my interest. And here you start to give me some of the content about what this is which is fine. And then as we go down, we've got more content. Okay. And then, okay. And then we go straight down into the demo. Um, so the thing that you are lacking entirely on this page is any form of social proof. Now, not having social proof will literally harm your conversion rate. If you are a brand new business, um, if you're literally just starting out, then what you need to do is basically, you know, and not give your service away for free, but, you know, talk to your friends, talk to your families, ask them to go through your process and say what, how they would review you. So initially you get something done. Um, and then as you start to build that business base, you can start to get more and more reviews on your site itself. So ideally what you would have is your star rating up here after your uh, your content kind of telling us all about what this is you would then have a desire section you need a distinct desire section and actually i think i forgot to mention that on this page so we needed the uh, the um social proof up here but the thing that we're lacking again would be that desire section so it's super super crucial um that you have a minimum preferably <clears throat> we know it's difficult sometimes, but preferably you want a minimum of three reviews on your page. If you have a product um, and you don't have any reviews for your product, then think about doing some sort of free samples and things like that just to get that buzz going and get those uh, reviews on. So ideally you would have had a, a nice section here with your reviews in. Then you would want that repeat call to, call to action, you know, get started now. Um, obviously you're going for get a demo. 
I'm assuming that this is going to do the same thing. What you want to do is keep all of these call to action. So the terminology exactly the same, especially if it's doing the same thing. So ideally keep it as get started now. I think it's a bit more um, emotive or get your demo now, something like that. Um, so we'd have had the desire section, the repeat call to action. Same thing as I said on the previous page, we want to see a frequently asked question section out on the page itself. And then you go into this uh, this kind of like final call to action. Again, I really feel like you need to uh, strengthen up the color of this. And ideally this would be backed up by some form of star rating. So on lead generation, obviously not going to be payment icons necessarily. So you just need to think about other trust symbols. So, you know, with CRMs, with things like that, it could be some sort of form of app. Um, like, for example, WhatsApp is a good symbol. It shows that, that it, you're using a recognized company, um, but you just want to back up any calls to action with some form of supporting buffer. So for this page, there's, again, a few tweaks. The major thing is going to be the headline, call to action, uh, social proof, FAQs. Uh, and I think that's predominantly the main things on this page. So let's go to the next one. As you can see, it doesn't look like it's in English. So I have translated it into English. So I'm not going to comment on the copy as such. It never translates properly. Uh, let's have a look at the speed. And what's this one built with? This is a great tool. If you see someone else's page and you think, oh, how did they do that? Or what are they built on? What apps are they using? Then this is a really good tool to have a little peek at. Uh, so let's have a look. E-commerce open cart range. There's a lot going on. Okay, so again, this looks like a bit of a custom setup. So fingers crossed on the speed, we'll be looking at a good one. Let's just let that one run. Now, guys, if you want to learn more about um, your uh, how to build pages, how to create the perfect page, you'll find so much of that free content in our YouTube channel. So please do hit the subscribe button. Um, and of course, I know we've said it a lot, but we have our own CRO course as well. Um, so really, really cool stuff. But do make sure you check out our YouTube channel at the very least. This has taken an awfully long time to run. So what I'm going to do is have a look at the page itself. So clearly we have a product page. Um, this looks to be quite a large store. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot going on here. Um, the first thing is your banner. I mean, it, it really does stand out. I think you're trying to give us like an Amazon vibe here almost. Um, what I would say is that this is a, a bit too busy. There's too much going on here. Um, you know, you, you've got all these things to give us trust, which is awesome, but backed onto this, onto this, it's a little bit too much. So I think you need to look at streamlining your banner. Um, suggestion would be ideally that all of this information is actually just in the one banner. So typically searching for a product in a catalog, you just have to search up in the right hand side. Um, and then that would just free up a little bit of space for you to use your, your sort of trust icons and things like that. But really nice to see. I'm assuming this is a dynamic section, which is always a good thing to have um, because you can start reacting to what's going on outside, which is great. Um, so we have a Eco Lunch Thermoset bottle. Okay, so the imagery is good. It's fine. Let me just have a look at the thumbnails. It's nice to see thumbnails. Okay, so it pops out, which is interesting. Um, worth testing. Sometimes people, we find that's quite a, a little bit too much friction. So it's nice if the image just changes here. But again, it's a very testable point depending on your audience. And something else to note, guys, that we have noticed and you might find this helpful is that on uh, products, uh, product images. So let's just choose one, anyone uh, here. Um, you've probably seen them, the graphics where you have an image and then you have some text and then with a little line pointing to whatever it is you're trying to explain, whether it's like super easy clickable lid or, you know, uh, microwavable save. So those graphics with uh, more information explaining the product, we find uh, or are finding some really good results with. So something worth uh, thinking about as well. Your call to action, I mean, it, it, it's a different color from your branding, I think, but I think you have too many um, 
too many little buttons in the same kind of colors. Personally, we would have a little, uh, the in stock kind of button as opposed to this, because it gets a little bit lost. And your gold stars, I would actually put those in the gold. It just really makes it stand out from the crowd. Um, good to see you've got some sort of saving here, which is really nice. Just make sure that you pop down the monetary value or the percentage. A lot of people prefer to see the monetary value of how much people are saving. Um, it's just really, really cool. Love the fact that you've got some scarcity. I would make this button uh, slightly larger and and Obviously, it's not in English, but maybe think about switching, uh, testing the uh, pointing finger over the little shopping trolley. It's well worth testing. And again, same thing. You're going to need to grab your payment icons under here uh, to make sure everybody can see how to pay. Um, I like the way you're trying to do an upsell. The text is way too small. It just needs to be a little bit tidier. Um, and your color selector Oops. Okay. So your color selector almost sort of reloads the page. So ideally this color selector would just quickly, uh, you know, s switch it around. You don't really want it to have to reload the page just to have a look at the color option, but good to see that you've got that. But I think that could be displayed a little bit clearer. Um, as we go down again, fairly typical page, we've got it in the tabs. Um, let's have a look at what your content so you're giving us all of the information. This is quite texty. Again, just think about when you're having large uh, blocks of text, like you've done here, that you are b uh, bolding out any of the key points. I mean, this kind of information here would be super valuable either on the uh, the images themselves or giving us those nice little bullet points up here on the benefits. Again, I know it's tedious when you have a huge store um, to put a little description on every product, but it's those little details that will make a big difference in, in the kind of purchasing um, mindset of people. So then we've got uh, reviews in another tab. Really great to see you've got this. I would love to see this actually out on the page itself, um, especially in mobile view. You know, you really want to see these reviews because you've got loads, which is great. Um, but obviously in the tabs, they're always that bit hidden. So we've got this information. Anyway, go down the sections. And then we go into related products, which again, fairly typical on a product store. That's fine. Watch things like this. You can just see it's not rendering properly. It's, you've got a bit of crossover here. Um, you just want to make it nice and super clear. I would uh, probably use a little bit of red text to show the striked out pricing as well. And again, you just want to get your, your star rating onto each of these little, um, little buy boxes. Um, same thing again, the thing you're lacking is a frequently asked question section. I know everyone's like, why would you have it on every page? But essentially you've got the same questions on the page because if somebody is reaching the bottom of your pages, then typically it means that they're looking for the answer to something. So ideally what we want to do is just address that super obviously and make the journey super frictionless for them. Now, something else that um, we mentioned briefly was the process steps. And again, you know, I would relate that to every single page that we've done. So if we go back to this data lies, you know, what would be great is if you gave us a process step here. So it would be, you know, um, book your free demo today. Um, we'll get back to you, you know, we'll have this chat and then you're going to benefit from having our service. So with process steps, you want to think what the consumer will do. In this case, it will be the consumer will purchase the product. What you will do, you will get it to them in such and such a time and then how they will benefit. So, you know, it's going to be in this case, it's going to have an awesome product. So do think about adding in process steps wherever you can and try and keep them quite high towards uh, just after the uh, above the fold section, guys. So a few little tweaks. I mean, loads of good stuff going on here. It's just that it's way too busy up here. And there's some bits you can be doing on your hero section, which would be uh, hopefully pushing the needle in the right direction. So let's just check the speed on that one. 6.14. So again, this is a very, very heavy load speed. Um, before you even think about design um, or making any tweaks like that, I would have a look and try and get your load speed down because this is going to be heavily affecting your conversion rate, guys. So we are now on the last page. That's gone really quick. Looks to me like this one. I'm just going to have a proper look, but 
it looks to me like it's only optimized for mobile. So when you're creating your pages, we understand that traffic is very, very much geared up towards mobile traffic these days. Um, but you still need to think about those, those people that are visiting your desktop. So don't disregard one for the other. Obviously, you need to optimize for where the majority of your traffic is coming, but don't just completely disregard the other uh, page as well. And this is a Shopify because it's all page fly. And let's have a look at the speed. 1.54, not too bad. You could probably shave some stuff on there. Yes, yeah, so you can compress some images and get that down a little bit more. So let's look at the page itself. Is it just not loaded or is it? Sorry, guys. Yeah, so this is clearly, well, it, it's only optimized for mobile. I'm going to just 100% check. Yeah, it's reloading the same. Okay, so what I'll do is rather than not look at it, I will put it into mobile view. Just let that load, guys. Okay, sorry, it's loading super slow for me today. I think that's actually my internet over the page. There we go. Okay, so let's have a little look at this. Um, now, let me get rid of this. Right. What's really nice to see here is obviously I didn't see that. And so we've got an image. We've got some great trust up here. We've got some branding. You're clearly following the principles, which is really, really nice to see. You've got star rating. You've got bullet points, call to action. It's all here. Literally everything we recommend for above the fold is here. Um, but what I would say is that on this particular page, what you need to do is uh, just work on your kind of padding and the way that it's laid out. So ideally, you know, all of this can come down. Very rarely do I say it this way around, but all of this can come down so that your call to action is down here. You've got a nice big product image here. These trust icons will be a little bit clearer because as it is, they're absolutely tiny, even though I can see what they are. We just want to make it a little bit more evident. You could have some little thumbnails here if you wanted to. Um, but ultimately, you know, I, I think your content is good. I think everything here is good in terms of you've got a good call to action, you know, you've got all your payment icons and you've got social proof. This is literally a case of um, thinking about padding and how you actually present it in terms of on the page itself. So pull all of this down, open it up, you know, give us a nice image um, and that'd be great. Have you got no? So the other thing to do is make sure you have a sticky call to action on your mobile version. Um, and do locate it down here by the thumb. So ideally you wouldn't want this help button by your thumb um, because you're just trying to, it's almost a distraction. Your page should kind of give everyone everything they need. If we have to have help, okay, we're gonna have it. But what you really want here is that nice sticky call to action. So all of that, brilliant, just pull it down. Then you can have the, um, you know, the review can be just below. It doesn't have to be literally right above because what you've done is you've given us that star rating there. So really, really nice. Then we should be going down into peaking my interest. And obviously you've got lots and lots of content here for me. Again, like, you know, the content is looking good, but everything here is just a little bit too busy. It's a little like the padding between the edges you know, between the icons here and the text, there's just a bit too much going on. So pull this down slightly again, give it a little bit of space to breathe. Um, and it's just a little bit more kind of user friendly. Now, the other thing is you gave us the benefits at the top, which is nice, um, but any kind of stuff like that you can get on the page is great. Love the fact you're repeating your call to action. Now these here, these are really good trust icons. So super happy to see you've got there. What you might want to do is relocate these. So when you work on your hero section, if we imagine all of this is pulled down and your call to action is here, then what you want to do is have those literally just after you, uh, the first kind of scroll because really that's that's huge trust it's big brands so you want to have that nice and high before we go into all of this content so really good stuff there i think you could make your call to action a little bit brighter um and potentially a little bit larger as well uh, lovely little gifts here ah so this is your 
your desire section. So you are following the principles really, really well. It's more about spacing and kind of like padding for you guys. Um, what I would say, this is good. Nice to see that you're using a scroll. Um, try and use two chevrons to show people they can go left and right and make them nice and clear. Um, it's really, really weird. People just assume that we know to keep sort of scrolling. But if we give people those directional cues, we just find that a little bit uh, less friction for your, uh, for your consumer. But really nice that you've got the desire section. Love the repeat calls to action. You're nailing it. This is great. Still unsure. We've got your questions covered. You're, you're keeping it super emotive. You're not giving us just FAQ. So well done there. That's really, really good. And it's so nice to see an FAQ section out on the page. So really good. And then you're going to end on an action. So loving this. Um, okay. What I really like is that you've literally followed the principles, as I keep saying. Um, this is a much better image. We can see the image, um, you know, compared to the one on the hero section. Um, we've got what it includes. This is great. Stock selling fast. So you're giving us uh, the, the scarcity. And I like the way that you've uh, tried to bundle here as well, because I know bundling can be very difficult. It's all well and good when you can custom, um, but sometimes you just need to keep it simplified and what you can do. So I think this is cool. Uh, what I would suggest to you is that you show us the monetary saving or the percentage saving, preferably the money saving, um, and maybe strike through in red. But really, really cool to see. So overall, brilliant in terms of principles, love some of the content, you know, it, it's all good. It's just all a bit too squashed, essentially. Anyway, guys, I think we've actually come to the end. So um, like I said before, if you uh, haven't checked out our YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to join our community. If you have any questions, queries, concerns, then you can just hit me up on Messenger. Um, and of course, you can get in touch with us using the link uh, below. And one last time, don't forget to check out our CRO course. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.